Hi there, I'm Mike from ATB Guitars in Cheltenham, UK, and this is number six in our series of my favourite five guitars we have in the store right now. Sit back, relax, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so number one in uh, this series. Uh, these are in no particular order, by the way, but thought we'd start off with something quite special. This is a 1965 Olympic white Fender Stratocaster. Um, now, this one was owned and played by Buddy Guy. Um, it has his autograph on here. Um, it's got uh, a Buddy Guy strap with his autograph on the strap and it's got a certificate of authenticity with it saying that it was Buddy Guy's. Um, it's originally sold by uh, Well Strung Guitars, so you know it's going to be uh, pretty kosher. Um, so far as I can tell at cursory glance, it's, it's all, finish is all original. No touch-ups, no other sprays, um, really nice guitar. Uh, it looks like the saddles have either been re-chromed or replaced, and um, the strap buttons I've also either been re-chromed or replaced, but um, it's that's about it. Inside, it's it's perfectly sound electrically, and uh, it's a it's a really great guitar. Uh, 1965 custom color. It's an L series as well, so it's uh, people might say it's pre CBS. Some people don't. Some people do. I'm not going to get into that debate, but um, it's a cool guitar, and most people would say it is a pre CBS one, but. Who cares? It's a 1965 Strat in custom colour, Olympic white, ex-buddy guy, and it's a hell of a nice guitar. Right, number two in this series, again in no particular order, is this uh, gorgeous 1961 Gretsch 6120 Chet Atkins model. And this is a one-owner guitar we bought from the uh, from the original owner, actually, via his son. The original owner was on the phone at the time we bought it. Um, his name is Michael Gilligan, and uh, he, he's an Irish guitarist. He played in various bands during the 60s, and this is believed to be the very first Gretsch to land in Ireland. It's, uh, it's again, it's 1961. It's in lovely condition. Um, MG, he's got his initials on there, which is some kind of... Um, paint or decal, I'm not quite sure, but um, it's part of its guitar's history. Um, it's, it's got original frets, um, original electrics, there's no brakes, no repairs, in really, really nice condition with original case, and I believe in the case there's a, there's a bit of history about the guitar, where it's gig, who it's belonged to, etc. And uh, it's, it's very, very cool. Um, if you're looking for one of these, this is uh, a very, very nice example and uh, got a, quite a cool story and a bit of history with it as well. For anyone who hasn't played a Gretsch before, they are totally unique sounding. And um, this is a classic Gretsch. Uh, these pickups sound awesome. And if you haven't got a Gretsch in your arsenal, then you should have because you can get some amazing sounds from it. And every Gretsch has to have a Bigsby type trem as well, which of course this one has. Right, this is number three in our selection, in my selection, my personal selection of favourite guitars in the store. And this one's quite special. This one is a 1964 Fender Duo Sonic. Um, the notable feature on this one is its finish, which uh, probably few of you have seen. But um, in 1964, especially early 64, um, was quite an experimental time for Fender. They were experimenting with different um, body woods and they were experimenting with um, different finishes as well. And this has both of these in this little duosonic. The finish is called Translucent Cherry Red. And um, if you can see um, by the uh, video, um, it's, it's not cherry red. And it's not um, Dakota red. It's uh, it's definitely a translucent red, and uh, it's uh, a unique colour which we only used during that period. I've seen them on Telecasters before. Um, I've never seen one on a Strat, but I'm sure it must exist. Um, and this is one of the few um, translucent red finishes I've seen on a uh, Duo Sonic. 
The other notable thing about this, um, this lovely little Geosonic is its mahogany body as well, which again, Fender were experimenting with different woods. We, we see mahogany during this uh, early 64, late 63 period. We see Carina um, on strats and mahogany on strats as well. In fact, we have both of those examples in stock at the moment. And this particular early 64 Geosonic has um, a mahogany body, which goes really well with the translucent finish. So you can see the um, mahogany grain. It's, uh, it's a real nice guitar. Um, the pick guard is an old pick guard, but I don't think it's the original one. However, it looks it. It's, um, it's warped like an original pick guard should, um, but it's, it's probably not the original. Everything else is original on it, um, original finish, um, original decal, and uh, it's such a cool instrument, and I believe it doesn't have the original case as well. Pretty cute, don't you think? Right, this is number four in our selection of my five favorite guitars in the store right now. This one um, is uh, a really nice 1973 Fender Thin Line. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a very cool guitar. Uh, it's got two wide range humbuckers fitted to it and uh, it's in absolutely superb condition with original case. And um, it's, uh, it's all original. Um, these tuners are quite interesting. We're not sure if these are original yet, but um, they're not F-style tuners like you'd expect to see. It looks like they're shallow tuners, but they have exactly the same footprint as you'd expect to see. And uh, there's no marks that any other tuners have ever been on this guitar. So we're gonna have to um, have a bit of a deep dive into these tuners and, and see uh, if they are original. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they were, or if they are. Um, Fender was doing some weird things at the time and uh, as I say it doesn't look as if any other tuners have ever been on this guitar but it's, uh, it's a natural body which is really nice ash thin line body um, in great condition and uh, it plays really well with a nice fast action on a slick maple neck so uh, not often we get these we don't generally uh, sell Fenders from this era but this one we got in because it's just so lush. So finally, in this selection of five, we have this um, stunning Gibson SG Junior, which uh, is probably one of the coolest in the country. It's uh, a custom color finish. It's not cherry red, it's custom color. And uh, the color is called Ember Red. And it's a custom color which you saw um, in the 60s. This particular one is a 1965. Um, all original with uh, 1964 spec, i.e. it has a wide nut, it has a nice 64 full feeling neck, all original hardware. Typical at the time in 1965, you have a mixture of um, nickel and chrome hardware as Gibson were transitioning between um, nickel and chrome. So for instance here, we have a nickel plated um, vibrola and here we have a, a chrome plated um, wrap over bridge. Um, all of this is original, nothing's been changed. Um, it's how they came. And um, when, you, when you see new nickel plated parts, they look really shiny and just identical to chrome. So there was no problem with the Gibson chaps at Kalamazoo mixing the two together on the same guitar because a new guitar, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. It, only when nickel ages can you actually spot the difference between nickel and chrome. Anyway, it's a killer guitar. It's got one screaming P90 pickup, which is nice and close to the strings, so very, very powerful. And um, it's exceptionally rare in this finish. Um, we had one of these about a year ago, and it sold really quickly. Um, this one is actually probably in better condition. Um, there's no brakes, no repairs on it. And if you want the coolest SG Junior around, then um, this is something you should definitely have a look at. Right then, last up in um, our selection and an added bonus in the bargain corner is this 1957 Supru Belmont guitar. Um, it's a catalogue guitar from 1957 and uh, it's only priced at 1495 and it looks very cool, I think. Um, it's finished in red, some kind of red. In fact, it's pretty close to cardinal or ember red 
Um, it looks to be all original. We're not Supru experts, but uh, we can't see anything replaced on this. Um, very cool sounding guitar as well with this um, unique humbucking pickup. Um, all the hardware looks original. Uh, the paint's original. It's got um, a few air bubbles, which would have been um, done at the time it was painted. So um, there's a bit of damage here and there, but nothing too drastic. Most of the paint is still intact. And um, it's a cool guitar. Um, it's from 1957. You won't get anything uh, from 1957 um, for 1495. Well, very little and uh, probably not anything as cool looking as this. So if you're in the market for a guitar like this, we've got one here. Full details are on the website. So um, please go and check it out. Okay, so thank you very much for uh, watching this till the end. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. Um, do all three if, you, if you'd like to, that'd be nice. Um, buy lots of t-shirts from us. We've got them on our website in two different designs, all sorts of different sizes, in any colour you like, as long as it's dark blue. Um, visit our website for details on all the guitars which we've mentioned here, and many, many others as well. And again, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.